Welcome to my fish room. Okay. Um, that was possibly the biggest mistake in the guy's career. That box that we just took out of here, how much do you think it's worth? I don't know. Wild guess. Triple these ones? Way more than triple. Why? That is about a $10,000 retail box. There are two wrasses in there that are unidentified. There are crescent wrasses. This is... So he's coming to get that? In the morning. So he's going to let it sit overnight? Yeah, that's the part that... He's going to let $10,000 worth of stuff sit overnight? That's the part that confused the daylights out of me. But he's like, you know, I need to put away my fish. That's going to take two hours, and I said, the chances of me being awake in two hours are zero to zero. Oh, okay, I'll see you in the morning. Okay. But, we got to bag up the uh, chocolates because those are the only thing we open. <coughs> The most expensive box on his entire order. And he messed up and gave it to you. Well, because it was two boxes, a giant pile, and then another one box. Yeah. So he handed me two, and then he picked up the third, and I was like, oh, it's three. Well, it's supposed to be three. Oh, He's so he has box. one of our boxes. Yeah. That's got the uh, purple firefish goby. So he's going to leave it. Until tomorrow. Oh, until tomorrow. I'm not happy about that. But he does ship fish out that he does not open. That are shipped out during the morning tomorrow and they arrive in the evening and they're fine. That made me more comfortable. Well, depending on how my hives are in the morning, I might have somebody to help put that box away, too. I'm so sorry you have hives, son. You know how guilty it makes me feel? Like, I feel like you're mad at me for not working. I feel like Fritzy's judging me for not working. Nobody's I... judging you. Nobody's mad at you. You have noticed your father is rather laid back. I know. All right, now we open our own box. Yeah, powder brown. Hopefully this is all the big bags. <laughs> <laughs> My boy is just like his father. So you're still going to be home by like 5 tomorrow? Yeah, why not? I don't know, I'm just making sure I need the van and trailer. You thought I was going to start working hard after all these many years? Did you tip your tooth again? Yeah, I banged myself in the face and uh, next morning the tooth was gone. Yeah. I'm trying to bang myself in the face. Okay. One inch long yellow forest rat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's cute. Yeah, it's cute. What, uh, Would you I... get a root canal at your age? Or just pull the tooth? When I was your age, I was broke. No, 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 I mean like being your age now, would you get a root canal done or would you just pull the tooth? No, I get a root canal. I got money now. <laughs> Mom's got two, left. that's why. Yeah. Yeah, always 
do everything you can do to save your teeth. Eating's good. Blue green salmon. Blue green salmon. Kind of knew that would be right the same size. We also took out those two bags from that box, right? Or those? No, the two small ones. No, that's the other one. Yeah, these two. So put them back. Beautiful orange shoulder tang. They call this a yellow scopus tang. And it's supposed to be more brilliantly yellow than a yellow tang from Hawaii. She's more brown. Like <laughs> yeah. You know how expensive it is? <laughs> like 300 bucks? Really? Yeah. Shit. What's wrong with that blue powder blue? It has it. Massive bacterial infection, and it. How come half its size, half? Oh no, it's also just very malnourished. Don't well, let your fish get like that. It's a guy who has a fish tank, and up until a week ago, it was eating well, but it wouldn't eat bunchy. All it would eat was nori. And then he says, well, you know, it started banging into things, it got scraped up, it got bacterial infection. He brought it here. Today I looked at it and went, the infection is slightly better because they're putting nitroferosol in it. But the, I'm looking at the fish going, he's got it. So I phone the guy and I tell him he's got good news and bad news. He says, what's the bad news? And I said, well, you got it. He says, I know. You got ick and you haven't did anything about it? Well, you know, I've had the UV sterilizer off for a week. It was keeping it under. But you got ick. I said, why don't you just take care of the ick and then you don't have to deal with it. Oh, I should do that. So we're hoping. People don't know that they can. Well, he's got to take the fish out. Put them in the quarantine tank, medicate them, leave the tank empty 90 days, because 72 days is what scientists say, but I'm paranoid. Oh, why don't we go last time? Same for Queen Andrew. Uh, what is that there? What? Oh, who mind? It looks a lot like a Xanthorus, but it's not. Yellow Angel. Let's see my part. Yeah. 
see one box has two, one box has one. Okay, so the other box has one. Cellophane, yellow paint. Oh, big bag. <laughs> Juvenile Emperor. Do you have any pistol shrimp here? I have Randall's pistol shrimp. Uh, that's that? probably what I just heard then. Yeah. You're in a clicking and a tapping. That's what you heard. Yeah. He's really blue. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Spins aren't that long though. Not really. Depends if you're a prick. He looks big. Yeah. Who's he for? Harder to see. Yeah, well, we got a comment today that the water was yellow on the Florida order. It's supposed to be Central PV. Our guy. Chairfish. It's Central PV lava, whatever. Not as pretty. Dad's talking Jimber. Yeah, they very seldom send you prettier. Who's an Isle Emperor? And another not centrifuge area. They just look like they're black. Yeah, but it's not even a jet black. Well, we're going to be putting these away for a while, so uh, the boy can go to sleep now and I'll put them away.